Hey guys, how is it going? Welcome to the Soccer Family Zone. Coach Baptiste here. What a pleasure to be here with you guys. Listen, I know you guys have been tuning in into this new channel, the Soccer Family Zone on YouTube. I cannot thank you guys enough for subscribing, liking our videos, and basically sharing the content that we're putting out there for your enjoyment. Um, today, we're gonna talk about our why. Why are we doing this? Guys, I gotta tell you, I am one of the biggest soccer fans in the world, and my entire family, we are soccer happy, we are soccer crazy, which means we watch the games, we go to games, we, we play the games, so it's just a wonderful, wonderful thing that I definitely would love to share with the world. So once I figured exactly what I wanted to do, and um, it was easy. It was easy to just jump into my why. So my why is not only to share that passion with you guys, but to make sure that we build our soccer community, our soccer family as a whole as well. So if I can point out one or two things that you might be able to do for your family with regards to the game of soccer, well, I've done my job. So today we're going to talk about why I love this game so much. See you guys soon. Welcome back guys, Coach Baptiste, Soccer Family Zone, glad to have you here. Why do I love this game so much? I mean, I grew up playing the game of soccer and all my friends at times, even when we didn't have a soccer ball, we'll find any round object that we could just to kick it around and play. We'll go to church on Sundays, even in our, in our Sundays best, we'll be out there kicking a soccer ball or finding ways to just enjoy and play this game. And when the game was on TV, we just go crazy. Like, it didn't even matter what team was on. When I was growing up, that was one of the main sports that was on TV. So I was fortunate enough to grow up in an environment where it was almost a single sport. So I had to pick up soccer, right? But fast forward to now, where I have my own family, and uh, we've always been looking at things to do together. And the game of soccer has always been that one outlet where we could go out and enjoy a game. Full disclosure, I don't like crowds, but it's crazy. If it's a soccer crowd, I don't mind. Um, the biggest game I've been to live thus far has been Real Madrid versus MLS All-Stars. That was in August 2nd, 2017. I mean, we're talking about 61, 62,000 people at Soldier Field Stadium in Chicago, it was insane. When I tell you insane, um, to have seen in person players like Casemiro, players like Ramos who played for Real Madrid, those big name stars that I used to watch on TV and to be in the same vicinity was something big for me as a soccer star, but I'm sorry, as a soccer fan. So. To have witnessed that, it's been a blessing. But the biggest, biggest blessing was to have taken my family with me along into this journey to, to, to watch this game as well. My kids, even though they were young, especially my son, uh, was just starting to play a little bit at the recreational level for him to have taken that in. My daughter, I mean, it was a wonderful, wonderful feeling. Uh, we've attended a couple of other games as well um, after that, but one of the biggest goals for me is 2026 to just go to as many World Cup matches as possible. As you can see, I'm rocking the Argentina jersey. It's the old one. How do you know? Well, it's only two stars. <laughs> Argentina just won their latest star. When you win a World Cup, you get to put the star on your jersey. So Argentina had two previous World Cup. The one competition where it's every four years. You have to qualify for it. You have to play for it. We're not going to get into those details, but just so you understand the passion and the, the, the craziness that goes around um, these sports. Well, the madness comes from that passion that we're talking about here. So again, to go back to the point, 2026, when the World Cup is going to be in the U.S., Canada, and Mexico, I want to be able to take my family and attend as many, as many games as possible. So again, why do I love this game? the passion, the fan, the stadium, I mean, everything that you can think of um, that really make you wake up and just wanna smell the roses. Like, you know what? I've had a great week and now I'm just gonna end it watching a great soccer game 
either live or on TV. Preferably live, because I'll tell you again, I'm not a big crowd kind of person, but soccer crowd, I'm happy with that. So this is my why. Why is it that I love this game so much? Again, it gives me the opportunity not only to spend time with my family, but spend time around a great community of people that enjoy the same thing that I enjoy, you know, cheering on their teams. Whether it's a rival or what have you, it's always great fun, it's always great humor uh, to actually be in the same vicinity in the same stadium as these people are cheering their teams, you're cheering yours. Because whether it's a local amateur level uh, soccer match or your local MLS team, just have an opportunity to go up there with your family and enjoying that, I think it's a blessing. So guys, again, I hope if you have it, you take the opportunity to go out and enjoy a live soccer match. You'll figure out why I'm such an avid fan, why my family uh, and I, we enjoy going to games and enjoy the game of soccer so much so that we've invested in a soccer club and we're trying to grow our own soccer brand uh, through this channel, through this platform as well on YouTube. The name is Coach Baptiste. Thank you again for watching the Soccer Family Zone. You've just had a chance to experiment why I love this game so much. See you next time.